Well, here we are. Day seven. You made it. You've done it. Um, now it's just a matter of knocking out this mix. But before we do that, I just want to show you one more feature. When we were talking about loop. I realized that we didn't talk to you about loop roll, which loop roll is actually pretty cool. Again, it's one of those like seasoning things. So if, um, if we talk about this, let's go ahead and pull up. Uh, we'll use one of the demo tracks. Um, what loop roll does is it creates a loop but behind it, the track is still rolling. So as soon as you let your hand off the loop, it's going to pick up wherever it would have been. So when I go ahead and hit this track, if I go and hit the button right next to Hot Q called Roll, this will now create these different loop lengths. So 16th, eight, quarter, and a half. Now you can see if I hold on to it, it'll keep the, the loop going. And as soon as I let my hand off of the, the actual button, it'll go back. So so you can see we can have a lot of fun with this. And we can use this as a way to create a build or to get out of something. All right, so we could even use that as a part of a transition. Um, all right, we're getting very, very close to your opportunity now to do your 15 minute mix. Um, I am so excited for you. I can't believe that you have done this, that you've gone through all of these lessons and in it you've learned how to DJ. I mean, this is an incredible accomplishment. Um, before I give you all of the praise in the world, um, I do wanna show you where you can upload it if you want to. Uh, Juiced has this really nice way of uploading directly to Mixcloud. So if I go back to my settings, um, inside of my settings, I under my record section, um, well, that's, that's how you would, these are the options to record it. And honestly, the compression quality, you might want that to be a little bit higher. I would maybe set that to 320 is, the, is, a, is a really high compression rate um, and will maintain enough of the quality. What happens is the smaller the number, the more compressed it is, which means that you're losing some of those frequencies. Um, but if I go to connect, this is the way that I can share. So I can upload to SoundCloud or I can upload to MixCloud. So all you need to do is log into your MixCloud um, and it'll actually share the logs as well in terms of what you played if you have these checked on. Um, let me show you here. Let me zoom in so you can see that. Um, and then here's how you would connect to Mixcloud and then you could literally go straight like you mix your thing and then and then upload it to Mixcloud. Um, the other way that you could do it is you could just record it and then later on upload it to Mixcloud if you want. In fact that might even be a better way just to make sure that you're proud of the recording. Um, either way I am proud of you and I am proud of what you've accomplished in this seven days. Some of you did it in a couple of days, some of you took exactly seven days and some of you you know, took a lot longer to do that, and that's okay too. The fact that you are here right now is awesome. Um, and I want you to keep building on this momentum. There's so much more to DJing, but to put this in perspective, at this point when you're putting together this 15 minute mix, this took me probably almost two years to get to this point, like practicing every day. And there's things that you learned in this course that I didn't learn until much, much later. So, um, man, hats off to you guys. Uh, I appreciate you sticking with me through this whole thing and allowing me to be your coach and guide you through this process. I'm excited to hear what you come up with. Please share what you do with me. I would love to check it out. I would love to even give you some feedback if you want. So reach out to me. My contact info is below. You can find me everywhere. I'm at DJ Hapa, DJ H-A-P-A, and I will see you guys soon, hopefully. Take care.